Mike Adams, the new part-time Glasgow Hawks development officer. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about the role you've just taken up? Um, yeah, we just started um, the community programme at Glasgow Hawks. Uh, involves kind of going into the schools, into the primary schools, uh, into the secondary schools, just really promoting, promoting rugby there. Um, I think we've got about 15 primary schools um, around this area, so it's really involved just getting in there and trying to make rugby fun from a young age, um, getting them to try and like rugby more than football, uh, and get them kind of wanting to play when they progress to the age groups. Pia Jurisovic, um, new Glasgow Uni Development Officer. Peter, tell us a little bit about your role as the Development Officer for Glasgow. Uh, well, basically, I've just been appointed to the role um, just over the summer. Um, basically, I'm uh, looking after the the whole rugby setup at Glasgow University, not only with the like representative sides that uh, represent the university in the Wednesday leagues, but also you know, the recreation side, so and also the women's as well. So it's you know we've got quite a quite a lot of teams actually to uh, to take care of because there's a lot of playing numbers in Glasgow Uni, but obviously always looking to develop that and, and get more and more played again. You talked about challenges in the West, um, Premier Division rugby and rugby in the higher levels of the amateur game. It struggled a wee bit in Glasgow. How do you see this as an opportunity to, to target bringing um, Glasgow back into the, into comp contention in the, in the highest level of the game? Um, I think one of the important things that we're doing is going to the, the secondary schools and trying to get the schools involved in the Emerging Schools Cup. We've got uh, three state schools around here. Um, last year we had one playing in the Emerging Schools Cup, so really pushing to try and get the other two involved in the emerging schools, getting, managing to get teams out in the under 16, under 18 age groups, um, giving them opportunities to go into rugby clubs um, after school, giving them avenues, whether it be Glasgow Hawks or a different rugby club, but just giving them opportunities um, that they'd be able to take if they want to pursue rugby later on. Glasgow Union, I suppose, has got quite an important history in Scottish rugby, it's one of the founding members. How do you think your role you can contribute to bringing Glasgow Union into the mainstream of Glasgow rugby? Um, Glasgow rugby struggled the last few years. Hawks went down last year from the Premiership. How do you think you can you can you can contribute to the mainstream of rugby in Glasgow? You know, if you look at other universities like St Andrews and Edinburgh University, you know they've really got a strong setup there. They've got a lot of players playing the game. And, you know, they're involved in like the the, the club leagues, as you say. So you know it's really trying to get get the standard up first, and I hopefully that'll come from my, my coaching and, and people that get involved here uh, to come and help help out uh, uh, coaching and. You know, really try and uh, create sort of like a professional environment here, just to uh, get away from a bit the, the social. Well, obviously, you have a social side to it, but you get away from that and try, and, you know, try to promote a professional atmosphere around the uh, university. And we talked about you. You played uh, Scotland Seven set up. You played with Glasgow Hawks, which I imagine means you've been taught, um, coached by some of the, the best coaches in Scotland. Um, what What have you taken as uh, lessons from them that you want to use as uh, as you start coaching? Um, I think one of the main things is just the enjoyment of the game. Um, obviously, when you're coaching the game, you, you coach it because you love the game. After you play the game, you go into coaching to try and pass on your kind of knowledge and your enthusiasm for the game. So I think that's one of the things I'll take take forward uh, kind of when I go into the coaching roles that I, I'm doing is just try and pass on the passion that you've got for the for rugby and really promote it, promote it that way.